but that was 10 years ago. Now the strike one pitch on the way. Pagan swings and promptly bangs it up the middle for a clean base hit. So Pagan leading off with his ball club running and running very, very well. Castillo waiting. Swings, hits a roll at a short. Her call, a quick feed to Hudson. It turns it to Loney, and they get the double play. The season. Beltran did it for Houston five years ago. Bonds for the Giants seven years ago. And the pitch to Beltran is low ball four. And that will bring up the somewhat amazing Gary Shep. The 0 and 2 pitch coming up to Gary. Randy delivers fastball, punch back to the box. Randy runs over the first, underhands it to Lonison and Art Carney. In fact, that's still in syndication, I'm sure. 3 2 pitch to Pierre is taken low, and a rabbit is loose as Pierre jogs to. And every time he has to dive back, that's energy expended. There he goes, and the pitch a ground ball by the diving first baseman Tatis, and in a blink of the eye, there are Dodgers at first and third with nobody out. Behind him, not to mention Orlando Hudson waiting at the plate. 2 1 pitch, and it comes to the plate, swung on little ground ball. Tatis goes to the plate, poor throw, and Pierre is in head first to score. Had Tatis made the throw to the third base foul line, about scored the opponent 41 to 14 in the first inning. Fly ball to left field. Angel Pagan is there to make the catch. Tagging to draw the throw, and only that is Rafael for a call. Well, they go 20 and 7. Reading out of his stretch, Tim delivers and hits Martin, though the bases are loaded with one out. And Tim Redding is certainly sinking in the water here on a walk, a single hard press. Tim Redding looks in to get a sign. Set at the belt, and the right-hander delivers, and it swung on a high fly ball to left center and not deep. Beltran on the run makes the catch. A strong throw, not in time. For call will score. We have one hit. Back comes Redding, hard ground ball, picked nicely by David Wright, who throws low to first. Tatis made it. Wolf into the windup, and the 1-1 pitch on the way is grounded just fair over third down the line. Wright hits the bag and keeps on going. Pierre will get it back to the infield, and so David Wright opens up the second inning and blisters a double. And it seems impossible to read about it and talk about it. Fernando grounds one to Orlando. That moves right over to third, so he gives himself up to move the runner up. So this time he moves his man along, right at third with one out, and former Dodger Ramon Martinez, a big chopper up the middle, that'll get the run in. For call throws to first, but the Mets now cut the Dodger lead in half, and it is two to one Dodgers, and the catcher Ramon Castro by the Astros and spent about five years with the Marlins and then with the Mets. Swings, doesn't get it, down he goes, and that's the inning, but the Mets come up with a run. David will mountains majesty off in the distance though it's nice and clear as well 2 2 pitch on the way Castro takes on the outside corner slider got him strike three called though down goes Castro and Randy, Randy Wolf hit two home runs in one game against Colorado he tries to hold up on a bad pitch and he can't do it so Wolf strikes out two down and so Redding strikes out two here in the second inning Juan Pierre, it's a ground ball to the right side. Up with it there is Castillo to get him. And so Redding turns things around in a hurry in the second inning. And at the end of two, the fastballs would put him away. We'll see. Strike two pitch coming up. Randy's fastball is swung on and missed. See you later. I mean, there's just no sense fooling around with a pitcher. So Angel Pagan. And the 2 1 pitch on the way. And Pagan hits a high bounce of the third. Castro is on it, guns it to Loney, and just like that, we have two. Eight times did he strike out that year? 17. The 1-0 pitch is lifted to right field, very playable. Andre Ethier is right there, and puts it away. So a nice inning for Randy Wolf. One, two, three. 
He has retired six in a row, and at the end of two and a half, started four consecutive left-handers for the first time since 1986. For call, slaps a bunt to the left of the mound, and Redding makes a good play to throw him out. And just like that, that a lot of first basemen are going to make, but Fernando Tatis is certainly out of position playing first base. Meanwhile, Orlando takes inside for ball four. Redding at the belt, and the 2 2 pitch coming up. Redding delivers, and it's a check swing on a pitch low, and it's going to be more than a check. It is a bum check, and down goes Epia, rung up by Mike DeMuro, the third base umpire. So two down, and, and now Martin with two out, Hudson at first. And the pitch to Russell is swung on, hit in the air to left center. Beltran cruises over, picks it off, and that's that. No runs, no hits, one man left. And at the end of three, it was no secret when he was the rookie of the year in the American League 10 years ago. This time lifting a pop fly to shallow center. Kemp coming in a hurry, kind of goes by. And I don't think he touched Orlando Hudson. Hudson went to the ground to preserve life. And <laughs> so he and Kemp barely brushed Florida area, the Tampa area. He's related to Doc Gooden. And ball four. So the tying runs aboard with one out in the fourth inning. And the battling, he is one for two, probably busted hit and run plays. Slow curveball is hit down the left field line. Pierre in a dead run makes the catch. Juggles holds on to the ball, and Sheffield has to get back to first base. Fine play. He actually quit baseball for two years. The 1 0 pitch is swung on as a line drive softly hit right at Orlando Hudson, and that's that. That Randy Wolf is the fourth consecutive left hand starter for the Dodgers. Ground ball to Ramon Martinez, one away. Johnny Padres, Nick Wilhite, and then Koufax pitching the first game of a doubleheader. Kemp is going to be safe at first on the bobble by Ramon Hart Martinez, a mountain or a molehill here in the fourth. Popped up, shallow right field, Castillo going out. Makes the catch and holding up his camp four. Little ground ball wide a third. David Wright makes the play. So nothing happens for the Dodgers except, and that's always important, they get the pitcher out of the way. They lead off the next inning with the air. Two years ago, he stole 78. So the Mets really miss him. High fly ball to straightaway center. One down. Fastball. Foul ball. Russell Martin. So two down here in the fifth inning and Tim. One ball, two strikes. Fastball lined into right field, base hit. Remember back in the third inning, Randy Wolf throwing some slow curveballs to Redding and then struck him out. 0 oh 2. Fastball lined into left field. So an 0 oh 2 fastball. And now Luis Castillo coming up with two on and two out. Teams without an error. He's quite an all around ball player. 1 and 2. Little Fastball away, bad ball, down he goes, and the Mets blow a chance, and at the end of four and a half. Fly ball to left field, very shallow is on Hell Pagan. One away. I guess trust is really the word. They trust him implicitly. So for Raphael going in. one and two and a little flare Castillo can't Orlando almost fell down when he hit the bag 
He wasn't going to go to second anyway, but he almost hit the dirt. All out effort by Castillo to none. Two hits. Mets, one run, four hits. Hudson goes. The pitch is hit in the air to center, and Beltran's at the other end of it. So no runs, one hit. Man left, and at the end of five in training in Florida, long before we had the fancy air conditioning. Oh, great pitch. That ties up Beltran, and it is going to wind up in Andre Ethier's glove. Big play by Andre. Wow. The Beltran fooled little fly ball. And that's going to be speared at third by Castro and just like that two down. And slicing that one down the right field line it's going to drop just fair for a double. So the tying run is at second base and Fernando Tatis and they're hitting 295 with runners in scoring position. And a line drive caught by Hudson and they're denied again. Tim Redding has held the Dodgers to just two hits and he's losing. Fly ball to right field Gary Sheffield. One away. That'll bring up looking ahead. He realizes Redding is due up third when the Mets hit in the seventh inning. And that's ball four. As far as Redding's pitch count is concerned, that would be another consideration. There's Danny Worthen alongside of the skip duck and running outfielders. Matt Kemp on one side, Andre Ethier on the other. High fly ball, but playable. Sheffield is looking to the captain, and that's Beltran. Dodgers two runs, two hits. Mets one run, five hits. So this is a big at bat for Randy Wolf, and it's a very, very big moment for Tip, unless it's a good hitting pitcher. Randy's pretty good. Fly ball to Sato, but Beltran is there. That'll be that. Early, the first five outs were on the ground. Now the balls are being hit in the air. So far, they're being caught. Three and two. Little ground ball for Cole. Gets a nice hop and the big catcher. And Raphael almost threw it away. Good save by James Lone. Three and two. Curveball whacked to right. Ethier is there. He was a goalie on the high school soccer team for four years. A drive to Santa, but Beltran is there. One away. Not only was Bobby Parnell and Beltran. Fastball hit through for a base hit. So for call, two for four, and that has to really cheer it up. The call going three and two. There he goes. On strike three, the throw down, and they double up for call. drive down the line fair ball so on hell Pagan into second base with a lead off double and here's a kid just called up from Buffalo and he has three hits to shows bunt and does it in the air everything the Mets do they come up short that's got to hurt Jerry Manuel Round ball back a third. Nice pick by Juan Castro. Throw in the dirt. Good dugout by James Loney. So the Dodger defense is supporting Randy Wolf, and now he might have gone as far as he can go. Round ball back a third. Nice pick by Juan Castro. 
throw in the dirt. Good dug out by James Loney. So the Dodger defense is supporting Randy Wolf, and now he might have gone as far as he can go. In his entire senior year of high school baseball, he never struck out. Little ground ball of the hole. Hudson's running it down. The play will be at the plate. He is in there. What a bait. Runner going, and it's ball four. So first and second as Wade gives up that little squib single and a walk. And pop in the air foul. Martin has a play. Oh and two. High fly ball into shallow right and it'll be Castillo. Ground ball, big hop, and an even bigger throw. So Ramon Martinez, who made an error earlier, throws one high, his second error of the night. And that's going to be hit into center, base hit. Martin will stop at second. So the Dodgers get a big break on the error by Ramon Martinez and now try to cash it in. Bottom of the eighth in a 2 2 tie. And Matt Kemp coming up. Cracked bat, little ground ball to Martinez. They get one. No play. Loney making sure he would tie up Castillo, but I don't think Castillo could have made a play on Kemp anyway. But Loney was making sure. So a fastball popped up. It will be Martinez. And here comes Beltran, but it's Martinez. So Ramon is off the hook despite the error. An out of boy coming to the catcher, Ramon Castro. And squirts a little one to Loney. One away. Ramon played here in 2000. Brian Schneider. Little roller right on the chalk. Loretta on the money. The odds. Ground ball inside third and down the line. The uh, reason we say that, I mean, it, it didn't stand up with Church. You know what left-hand batters were doing against Broxton? There goes the runner. And it's missed at the plate. So another left-hand hitter bites the dust, but one left-hand hitter, Church, actually got a base hit. And we're heading for the bottom of the ninth in a 2-2 tie. Ground ball to the hole, plugged up there by Castillo, one away. Brock and he walked him. For ball quit on that breaking ball and it darted in nicely to kneeling. A big pitch. Wade and Broxton. Check swing, little number trouble. Green picks it, throws it wildly. Off the glove of Castillo and all the way to third goes Pierre. It's been a definite difference between the two teams. The Dodgers have made some what side armor, a little number. Feliciano lobs it to first, and we are heading for extra innings. Got him. The uh, Castillo having one of those nights. Ground ball to Loretta. So two down here in the 10 Long Beach State. Shot up the middle. The Jeremy off the bench bangs one to center. That extends the inning and brings up, but went with the Mets. 
So now two on two out and Fernando Tatis coming up. And it's a little ground ball to Hudson. That'll be that. So Tatis goes 0 for 5 without hitting a ball out of the infield. The Mets lead 2 and it's still 2-2. Because he was certainly shading Martin towards right center. A uh, nice play by Ryan Church. One out in the of professional pitchers. He had Tommy John surgery. That's lifted to left field. Pagan is there. So two down in the tenth inning. 0 and 2 to Matt. Ground ball to Ramon Martinez. He makes the play. So the Dodgers go quietly in. and hits one towards right center, but there's ten. And a drive to left, Pierre is there. So both those balls hit pretty hard, but they find the gloves. Two down, and here's Ryan Church. And probably bangs it for a base hit. So he's late to the game and he's two for two. And a breaking ball is hit to the gap in right center, and there's nobody there. So here comes Ryan Church, and there goes Pagan with a triple. And the Mets lead three to two. Now let's see what the Dodgers are going to do. They want the ball. They are thinking that the bag at third was missed. And it was missed by Ryan Church. They were afraid he'd drop it. <laughs> there we go. Ball four to Loretta. Xavier Paul will become. Fast ball and a fly ball to left center. It will be Pagan. Yeah. It gets between them. Hey, Casey, the Mets are alive and well in Los Angeles. Oh, so in a moment, the bases are loaded. Nobody out. And Rafael for call will be coming up. And if you are old and... And a little fly ball to Pagan. Tagging up Loretta. The catch mark's not going anywhere. And a big bounce at the first. And they throw it away. Mark Thornberry lives again. The Mets live again. Holy mackerel. The Mets' fifth error. And this one. 